In this video, we'll learn about PHP commands used to include the contents of one file inside another one. We'll do this now using extremely simple code and we'll apply the same method to the Favorite Movies project a bit later. In PHP demos, make a new text file and call it includefiles.php. Open it up in Komodo Edit and type in opening and closing PHP tags. Then inside the PHP tags, type the line include and then in single quotes file1.txt, semicolon. Then copy and paste this line two more times, changing file1.txt to file2.txt and file3.txt. Now open a new code pane and type the word apples in it. And save it in PHP demos as file1.txt. Then change apples to bananas and save it as file2.txt. And then change bananas to grapes and save that as file3.txt. Now run include files.php in your browser and you should see the output apples, bananas, grapes, all as one word. The PHP script has been acted upon and has output the content of the three text files to the browser window. The content of the three text files has been included just as if it was part of includefiles.php. There are no spaces or breaks between the words because we didn't put any in. We can tidy up the output by echoing line breaks between each of the include commands using echo and then double quotes, and then an HTML line break tag. At present, we've saved our content files, the three .txt files, in the same folder as the PHP file which uses them. Normally, we wish to separate content from code as much as we can. And we do this by putting the content files in a separate folder. So let's do this now. Create a new folder in PHP demos called Includes and move the three included text files into it. Now edit includefiles.php so that the relative path points to this subfolder includes. Save it and refresh and you should see no changes. But the site is now better organized as we have our text files with content in them in a folder of their own, separate from the PHP code. Now edit includefiles.php so that the relative path points to this subfolder. Save and refresh and you should see no changes. But the code is now better organized as we have our text files with content in a folder of their own, separate from the PHP code. We've used the PHP include command. This will do exactly as it says and include those files every time it appears. So if we copy all the include lines, they will all be included a second time and the list of fruits will get longer. Sometimes in real programming this causes problems and we may not want an include file to be included repeatedly. The solution to this is to use include once with an underscore instead of include. Use edit replace replace all to replace all the includes with include once. Put a space after include to stop it replacing the folder name as well. Save the file and refresh it in your browser and you'll see that now each text file is included only once. There's a close relative of include and include once, require and require once. The difference between the include version and the require version is that with require the included file is vital and it must be found. If it's not found, the program will stop. Whereas with include, the program will give a warning and continue. To see this in action, go into PHP Demos Includes and rename file1.txt to something else, so that the included file that the program is looking for no longer exists. Refresh includefiles.php in your browser, and you will see that there's an error message, but the other includes still work, so the program did continue to run. Change include once to require once or require. Save the file and refresh it in your browser. And you'll see that an error message is printed and the program stops altogether. 
So we can see that including files inside a PHP file has exactly the same effect as if we put all the code in one big file. So far we've included just plain text files. Let's look at what happens to variables if we include PHP files in which values are assigned to variables and then use those variables in the including file. In includefiles.php change all the .txt extensions to .php and delete the lines echoing the br tags. And delete also the duplicated lines so that all we've got is require once file1, one, file2 one, file and file3.php. Then in the includes folder make a new file and call it file1.php and in it assign the value to the variable $fruit1. Copy this and make two more PHP files file2.php and file3.php and assign values to the variables fruit2 and fruit3. Then back in includefiles.php echo the values of the three variables. You can revise using concatenation or one of the other ways of combining strings and variable values by echoing out my three favourite fruits are and then the values of the three variables that we've just set. There are quite a lot of different possible answers and in the working files you'll find three possibilities which I'll copy in now. You'll find that the values we assign to the variables fruit1, fruit2 and fruit3 are available in the parent file includefiles.php and we can echo their values with no problem. This makes it very easy to split our code into small files each with a single well-defined purpose Secure in the knowledge that any variables that we set in any of the included files are available in the parent file. We'll be using PHP includes later on in our project, which will make the coding much more efficient and will reduce code duplication.